go. A mama cow laying with her calf. Isn't that nice? So us hillbillies, we just park wherever we want. And <laughs> Actually, got in home late last night from Richmond. Went to Myers, got some groceries, got a video for that. And what you got? Holy moly. I bet Holy. there's two yolks in this one. That's two yolks? Double yoker, man. Holy That's a goose egg. Put that flat in your hand. Oh, here, here's in my. That's a Melissa's hand. Wow. Put it in my hand. We all know I got big paws. Man, that is something. Oh, well, I was dipping water in there yesterday for Bea. Oh. Look at that. <laughs> There's two of us here. It's a Sunday. <laughs> Scratch grains. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Chicken says, where's mine? Guineas went back inside. <laughs> <laughs> the guineas are stupid. <laughs> Guinea says I'm hungry. What we got there? We got doggy Dog food. Mmm. Anybody want to eat any? Ready? Ready? Dog Here we go. Dog. Tastes it's like dog food. Oh, it's in my beard. <laughs> <laughs> that beard catches everything. <laughs> Look at that. Don't even waste even any dog food. <laughs> Look at that. Chicken. Where are you going? I want food. I want some food. Falling sassy. That's black too. I follow that too. Um, we're gonna have an issue. What issue is that? The two white things out here and the chicken is fine. <laughs> Come on, chicky chicky. I know where the food's at. What the chicken has. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing in here? You guys out. Come on. Yeah, Mom. Get out of here. Go on. Get on out of here. They're like, no, but there's food. Oh, what is that guy got? What is that guy? Whoa, what's going on? <laughs> Wait a minute. He's got food. All right, guys. I put some uh, feed on the black chicken. You guys peck at him. <laughs> How you guys like my tree? Ain't that funny? Windstorm came back a few months ago. Back at the end of August, and blew a branch off. Mr. Mo here was a naughty goat. He uh, destroyed the the gate out there. The pig did too. You can see right in front of Sam where the pig destroyed that. And then when I got home yesterday, the goat destroyed and took all these clips out. Now I have to go to the store today and go get me some more clips. Yeah, they're broke. Too short for anything. Hi, Sadie. Hey, Sam. So what are we going to do today? How are we going to keep these guys 
I don't know. Put a pitchfork in the ground right now and. No, you won't. Hey guys. So, we gotta fix this fence. The pig, the goat, mainly the pig, did this to the fence. So, we're gonna fix it. Um, I had not made it into town to go get uh, the fence ties. But uh, I got safety wire and my uh, safety wire pliers, so that's what we're going to use. So the safety wire, I think it's going to work just as good as uh, fence ties. It's just a little bit more time to do, but... Um, one thing is, it's hard to break safety wire, especially this stuff. You see how thick that is? So the tools I'm using on this job is safety wire, my Klein uh, safety wire pliers, and Nipix uh, channel locks. Uh, I don't know if anybody knows what Nipix are, but uh, best tool, best channel locks ever. Um, I've had these since about 1998, right around there, 96, I think it was 96 when I got these. And they got a lifetime warranty. Um, they've been replaced twice with no problems, no questions asked from Nipix or any Nipix dealer. Might as well be like a Mac or Snap On, a Mac O Tools or Cornwell. And then, well, these are actually my wire strippers out of my work van. They're by Mac Tools, which is made by Stanley Tools, I believe. Um, so, I don't know. That's what I heard through the grapevine, so I don't know if uh, Stanley owns Mac Tools or not, but uh, love these things. They're small. They fit my palm. They do non-insulated crimp, insulated crimp, and then they got a pair of pliers, a pair of cutters back here. And then you got your, goes all the way down to 20 gauge. And my type of field, I work on uh, on electric forklift, um, got cut and strip any wires. That's, uh, I can use these because it's 20 gauge. All right, so it's done, and it took me about 30 minutes to do it. Actually, 45 minutes, but I went in the greenhouse for about 15 minutes and and uh, kind of ruffle up uh, Melissa's feathers up in there. She's in there uh, messing around with some of the raised beds, and so I went in there and ruffled her all up and get her all like, wound up and pulled her string tight. <laughs> well, the first thing I did to her, actually, I shut the door. She asked me if, it, if I locked them in there. I haven't put release latches yet on the doors. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Look how tight that is. Using safety wire. And uh, if it's not too bad, if it's not too bad, you can go every other one. You can see it went there, skip one there. Then I had to start going every one. This is where the pig destroyed the fence and the goat. Well, I don't know who destroyed the fence. But uh, most likely it's the pig um, because the pig's been known to go through this fence once or twice. And here's some of our old repairs, zip ties. And uh, 
reason why I say the goats because last night I found Mo in the pen with the with uh, the little girl and the little boy, you know, Rascal and Fawn. And uh, I'm kind of a little worried about it. And uh, Fawn's not a year old yet. And uh, I don't know if she went in heat or not. Uh, but uh, she's kind of too young to be having, uh, having kids. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. And hopefully that Mo kept him to himself like a good little boy but knowing that uh went through the fence and the gate destroyed the gate fixed the gate last night the only thing he did was bend the hinges on the on the gate so straighten those out last night now today i'm just fixing the fence so time to put the fence back up By the way, that pig's never liked me from day one. She does that every time he comes near her, every time she sees him. <laughs> it's totally different when I'm around. Hi, Sadie girl. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, Rascal. Sam says I'm a barn dog today. I'm laying down. <laughs> Not your friend today, huh? Oh, yeah. uh, maybe because she don't like me because I named her bacon. bacon when my sister first brought her on. I'm like, come here, bacon. Hi, oh, Bubby. Mm -hmm. I tell you. <whistles> Woo! Hello! How you doing, Mr. Mo? Hmm. Uh. He's like, let me lick your no. hand. I just want to lick your hand. She even came to me. All right. So, a week and two days been in the floating tray look at the roots on that that's probably about good forearm length on a woman <laughs> and that's a floating tray look at that one week's time started something like that and kabam
What we got right here? What are these guys? They're growing so well. Those radishes too, looks like. Yeah, these are all radishes. French dressing, daikon. These are from here to here are daikons. These are giant German, and these are jelly beans. And those, what do you got in the middle? Carrots? Um, that are not growing? Well, on these, that one's growing. It's got a new start right there. These are just planted just this last week. They're growing. Look. They're get, growing. Jesus. Give them a minute. They give just them a got minute. planted. They have to go through. <laughs>